Tell us your name and tell us about your project. Hi, my name's Ashton and I've been working with a group of astronomers to observe the movement of other galaxies around us, as well as the movement of the planets in our immediate galaxy. What were you guys trying to do or find? We were originally observing our own Milky Way as most people thought that was all there was to the galaxies. Hubble then observed that the stars in the Andromeda Nebula actually varied in brightness in a way that varied from their true brightness. Hubble then discovered how to tell how far away they were from us by the brightness of the Andromeda Nebula. Where did the project or experiment occur? This project took place at the Hooker Telescope, which is located at Mount Wilson Observatory in Los Angeles, California. What other significant events were happening around the world at that time? In 1920, Prohibition began in the U.S. In 1922, the tomb of King Tut was discovered. In 1924, the first Winter Olympic Games were held. And in 1926, United States Route 66 was established. Who else was involved in the project? Another one of the main people in the project was Milton Humison. He also assisted the famous Hubble in our project. Using the new 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson, Humison helped Hubble identify Cepheids, like previously found in our Milky Way, in 18 subjects that were previously identified from Lowell Observatory by Vesto Sliffer. What was your role in the project? My role consisted of taking the data that Hubble and Humison collected and helping them crunch the numbers so that we could approximately find the distances of the objects that they were identifying with the Hooker telescope. What impact did your project have on the physics community? The famous Hubble's observations changed the very way that we viewed our universe. We were no longer limited to just our Milky Way, and we were able to expand our thinking to find galaxies and other objects much further away than in our own Milky Way. Was the Hooker Telescope ever upgraded during its years of service from the time it was initially built? Yes. In 1935, the silver coating that originally covered the lens that had been on the lens since 1917 on the Hooker mirror was replaced with an aluminum, aluminum coating reflecting 50% more light than the silver coating. Was the Hooker Telescope ever upgraded during its years of service from the time it was initially built? Yes. In 1935, the silver coating that had been in use since 1917 on the Hooker mirror was replaced with an aluminum coating that reflected 50% more light than the original silver coating. Thank you.